Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of One Must Fall. And when we left off, we defeated Raven in one-on-one -on -one combat. And this is what our guy's message is to say. You've got to learn some defense or you'll always get beat up like this. I did try, but we did work well. We beat the boss. And we ended up with a 5k profit. Now before we go and spend it all, we, I have the benefit of experience. We're going to register for the next tournament first. And we're going to register for the Kutashi Challenge. This militant country has managed in the past years to establish a well-respected tournament. The competitors are typically well-trained and equally well-financed. The winnings are good and the competitors are skilled. And it costs 3 million to enter. See, if I didn't do that first, and I purchased upgrades, I'd actually lose upgrades and training. It actually punishes you for being bad with your money. Anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? Wondering if we should take any courses. We should take one course in endurance, I think. I'll do another course in endurance. That's enough. Now we shall see what these people are like. We shall enter the arena and fight Stefan. Let's do it. Why do they keep making me fight such weaklings? I don't know, maybe because you stink. Let's fight Stefan. Ready? Fight. fight. Hopefully this should be easier than Raven, after all, Raven was a boss. This guy's just a normal guy, he's a weakling. He's nearly stunned, yep, he's done. He's taking a pounding from my legs. Legs, strong legs, robotic legs, level three legs, and he's nearly dead. Yeah, he's down. Okay, down, up, up, up punch, down, down, up, up, punch. Come on. Ah. Gilgagon fought a respectable battle with Stefan and was victorious. Not a bad Gilgagon. They both did some damage, but Gilgagon ended the contest with this shot. Yes. Come on, Goot, you've got to keep your guard up in there. You didn't do bad, but you could have done a lot better. Still, come up with a thousand or million dollars profit. And I'm not going to sniff at that. We shall save up for a level 3 armor plate. And fight Jacob. Don't you think that bot was a bad choice for you? I don't know. Yours looks a bit freaky. The gargoyle. Ready. Fight. fight. We are defeating this Jacob with respectable skill. He's stunned. Take a free hit. And a trip. Oh no, you gotta hit him first. He's stunned again. Kneel before my power. That's right. He's down for the count. I can do it whenever I'm not recording. Ah. Kelkakon showed some incredible abilities with the Jaguar as Jekyll became little more than a punching bag. Sorry, someone said a line of his in. This one, as well as other outstanding hits, have sent Jacob back to the shop for a while. Hmm. <laughs> you think you're pretty good, don't you? Well, if I was younger, I'd show you a thing or two. Oh. 
Okay, you're getting some money, which we'll soon get into the, our armor. We can get quite a few bots now. But I think I should stick with the Jaguar. It is doing well. Let us fight James. I have a few surprises in store for you. Alright, James, I believe you. You have surprises in Ready. store. Oh, it's the Electro. Bye. It's new. It's got electricity. Was that the surprise? A bit of a jolt. Well, I'm not afraid of your lightning. My character can cast it more than You're stunned, James. Stunned again, James. I'm stunned myself, that's pretty shocking. Let's end this right now. We've another roundhouse kick. He's nearly down. There we are. You win. Yeah, it's useless. Alright. For all you arena junkies out there, got a pretty good show at the stadium. James fought with skill, but not enough to put down Kokakon's hulking Jaguar. Hey, maybe next time, James. Nice job. Next time we could keep away from it a little more. Make my job easier, eh, kid? And we can almost afford the armor. We can afford some leg power or speed, but we're gonna get the armor. Let's fight either Orion. I don't even want the money. I just want the thrill of seeing your face after I stomp on it. Well, maybe we'll Ready. see what we can do for you. Bye. Bye. It's another Pyros, but it shouldn't be as tough as Raven was. Besides, we're getting better at the game now. Does this diving attack sort of thing? Yeah, it's annoying getting hit by those flames. Yes, blocked the flame attack. And blocked that. And that. About kicks of fury. Normally, fists are a fury, but my legs are a fury. We described a lot of things today. Oh, I got five consecutive hits. We are in the lead against this Evo Orion of the Pyros. I like how it squishes down when it wants to crouch. Okay, she's stunned. Let's get her. Oh, six consecutive hits. Again. Nope, oh, I'll back a bit. Got her! Sorry about the face thing. I'm afraid I'm going to do your face. If I could remember the combo properly. I can always do it during the training sims or whenever it's not recording. And in the arena tonight. Either Orion gave Kilkakon a run for his money, but came up a few thousand credits short. Eva Orion held in there for a while, but Kipkikon simply outperformed her with moves like this. Nice job. Next day, keep away from it a little more. Make my job easier, eh, kid? Notice how he can't tell the difference between guys and girls? Must have a very sad life. Anyway, when we come back, we'll continue to play One Must Fall.